All right, another one with the Chase Saki with the blue futon. The list next is Spider-Man Far From Home. Woof! I'm filming this right after the scenario of like Sony, Disney, Fallout. And then this weekend also, uh, oh my god, that's disgusting. That Spider-Man has an extended version out. Isn't the DVD coming out in like a month? To put the extended version on the DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, Steelbook, people are going to buy it. Like, stop gouging people money at this point, guys. But, let's watch the review after the intro. So, spoiler alert. Well, not really. If you haven't seen Infinity War, then don't go see Far From Home. Shh, phone. Be quiet. Anyway, Far From Home, what it's about. It's pretty simple. What the... Uh, Trailers were saying Spider-Man is going to Europe. He doesn't want to bring the Spider-Man suit with him because there's shit happening and he just wants to be a high schooler. But Nick Fury finds him and, you know, his scenario and basically forces him to do stuff that Nick Fury wants to do, not what the actual class trip is going to do. And Mysterio is in it. Jake Gyllenhaal. Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Well, no shit, he's a bad guy. Come on, trailer. You try to trick the audience, but nah, it doesn't work. But, like I said, anything with Jake Gyllenhaal, he's, like, the best part of the movie. Like, he just has that charisma of, like, if it's a Jake Gyllenhaal movie, I'll watch it. If it's in an awful movie, I'll still watch it because Jake Gyllenhaal's in it. I did like this movie, this, better than Homecoming just because it felt more like a Spider-Man movie. Unlike Homecoming, which is, like, an Iron Man 3.5, this is actually Spider-Man with Happy in the story of a Spider-Man villain. Even though, yeah, you can say, oh, but there was a Spider-Man villain in Homecoming. But this one just felt more genuine of a Spider-Man movie. Of course, there's also complaints of Mary Jane. God, pop my thumb, guys. Sorry. He needs to be, like, blonde instead of who it is now. I don't know her name. It's like a one-letter word name. But good about the movie. Jake Gyllenhaal is great. Kind of like what they're doing with whole the Nick Fury and everything like that, but that's also very negative to the back scene of the movie. But it's an okay movie. Like, I don't know. I walked out of it like, okay, cool. The bad guy was Mysterio, and how he did it was okay. But it still kind of didn't make sense to me of how he did some of the stuff of everything. But I liked it on some level. So it wasn't a bad movie. It wasn't a great movie, but it was a pretty good movie. It's a movie I would watch again. I mean, it's a good movie. It's not great. It's good. But like I said, the humor worked better. I like the humor in this one, actually, about the whole, like, ACDC plays. Like, oh, I love Death Leopard or something like that. Like, that shit funny. That shit funny. And But, I mean, how it ends, too. Ah! So, and we'll discuss that after I talk about the phone Shigamadigs. Like I said, Spider Man Far From Home. Good story. Good villain. Bad. I don't know. Like, I, like it's one of those movies where you walk out, you're like, yeah, it was good. But, like, no emotional impact because you're just like, come on, did you really have to do that? Which it kind of pisses you off so it does get your emotions up. But, like, to me, like, Infinity War, people are like, oh, I'm sorry. It's Endgame. Well, you need to watch both of them before you watch. Home or far from home anyway, but to me, like Endgame is a masterpiece. Like that shit, I could watch again. I I went into the theaters and I watched that again and again and again. Like Far From Home, I would watch it maybe a second time in theaters. Maybe I would buy it on Blu-ray, 4K. But but yeah, Spider-Man Far From Home will receive because I already have it kind of written out a three and a half out of five of futons, which equals at seventy percent. So it's the critics' new scores that gave this film. So you have the critics giving it a 90% with 408 of them. User scores a 95 with 67,575. Here's a quick consensus. A breezily, unpredictable blend of team romance and superhero action. Spider-Man Far From Home stylishly sets the stage for the next era of the MCU. Ha! That was before the fallout of that critic consensus. But I mean, I can agree. Like I said, I'm more of I'm thinking about like the movie because it's been a while since I've seen some of these movies. Yeah, the humor was better in this movie, vastly better than Homecoming. And I think a 70 for me works well. Like, it's a vastly superior movie than Homecoming. Vastly, vastly, vastly. More humor. Better bad guy. 
but with the better bad guy with the little caveat of like how it happens like i like how they tie it into like the avengers and the original iron man so it's kind of cool how they did that how they tied it into everything but i mean it's a drone movie let's put it that way i don't know like i'm just thinking about it, just like does it make sense i don't know like and then when you think about more like in the lines of like, you know, it's all drones. Like everyone in the world knows it's drones, but you're still going to like have the first, you know, like end credit scene end like that, which is positive. They brought JK Simmons back, which is like, you cannot replace JK Simmons for, you know, playing that character, but the report at the daily bugle, which it's like, then you got to bring Tobey Maguire in now. Like you got to bring Tobey Maguire in if they do another Spider-Man movie, which they are. You got to bring Tobey Maguire in. Like multiverse, bring Tobey Maguire in. Hands down, you got to do it. So like I said, it's a better movie. And then the second end credit scene kind of pissed me off. Like it was like, so you're telling me that really wasn't him throughout the whole film, and he was actually just bullshitting in space. It's like, no. And plus, you're bringing in Captain Marvel into spider-man which captain marvel is one of the worst mcu movies hands down it really it really is captain marvel isn't good but like i said chase like the boof like comment subscribe let me know what you think boof topia you boof tonys thank you for watching and have a great day i'm pretty sure it's my last one guys you might not see this shirt that's a lie i'm probably gonna do two more i'm just gonna keep going until like my voice literally falls out of the sky